Johnny Storm, or the Human Torch, was one of the most powerful members of the Fantastic Four, despite his somewhat reckless nature. He's truly lived one heck of a life, ranging from his traumatizing childhood to the accident that gave him his powers. Johnny first appeared in the debut comic issue of the Fantastic Four comics, and he was created by none other than the legendary duo Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. Over the course of his story arc, Johnny has stumbled into a whole lot of trouble, and he once even turned into an old man version of himself. Today, we'll explore the entire old man Johnny Storm saga in detail and tell you all about him. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. <laughs> Who is Johnny Storm? Born to Franklin and Mary Storm, Johnny Storm grew up alongside his older sister Susan in Glenville, New York. While they had a normal childhood, their family was shattered after his mother died in a tragic accident when he was quite young. Since his father was a physician, he did his best to repair her body and bring her back to life, but all his attempts failed and left him in a depressive state. While Franklin resorted to alcoholism and gambling to cope with his wife's death, he eventually got himself arrested after murdering a lone shark in the act of self-defense. Johnny and Susan, or Sue, then started living with their aunt, and they eventually crossed paths with a scientist named Reed Richards. At this time, Richards was working on an experimental rocket, and the sibling duo stepped up to embark on this journey with him. Unfortunately, the rocket was not adequately shielded from cosmic radiation, and it crashed back onto Earth's surface. While this situation might be fatal for most beings, the entire crew somehow survived and gained superpowers as a result of the radiation. While Sue, Reed, and Ben Grimm checked out their new abilities, Johnny burst into flame, and soon rebranded himself as the Human Torch. They decided to form a superhero group known as the Fantastic Four and hoped to use their powers for the betterment of the world. While they embarked on several missions to reinstate peace on a universal level, Johnny would often get into trouble due to his hot-headed nature. He ended up making impulsive decisions, such as leaving the group in a fit and then returning back after some time and he sometimes even went out of his way to disobey direct orders. However, he did mature a lot over time, and let us explore this one particular story arc where he was the sole surviving member of the Fantastic Four. The Tragic Tale of Old Man John Storm Old Man John Storm was introduced during a Fantastic Four comic run, wherein Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, had joined hands with the Future Federation. The organization aimed to develop the young minds of today into the leaders of tomorrow, but Reed soon had to leave with the rest of the original Fantastic Four team on a cosmic mission. He then appointed Ant-Man, Medusa, She-Hulk, and the Human Torch's girlfriend, Darla Deering, to step up and look after the organization in their absence. Richards was hopeful that they would come back in a matter of four minutes, and Fantastic Fantastic Four Volume 2 Issue 2 kicked off with Johnny kissing Darla goodbye. As he took his leave with the rest of them, Mr. Fantastic addressed the replacement team and assured them that the original crew's mission across space and time would barely take about four minutes. However, things seemed to go wrong, and the media soon started panicking, as the team was nowhere to be found, even long after time had passed. The press managed to create an atmosphere of tension, where nobody trusted the replacement team to do its job right, and the Mole Man launched an assault on the whole city to protest against them. Even though they managed to defeat Mole Man, the the entire ordeal overwhelmed Darla, and she decided to leave the group. As she prepared to leave, the issue came to a striking end as an aged human torch emerged from the portal and declared that the rest of the original Fantastic Four were dead. It was quite evident that he had seen some things, and his youthful appearance had drastically changed over time. He had long gray hair and a missing eye, and his left arm and leg were replaced with robotic cybernetic enhancements. In the next issue, titled Old John Storm, the replacement team is in utter shock as the older version of Johnny Storm from Earth-13266 arrives through the portal and settles down. He tells them all about the Fantastic Four struggles and how they died while waddling through time and space. It turns out that they had ended up in a battle against Doom, the Annihilating Conqueror, who was essentially an amalgam of three villains, namely Doctor Doom, Annihilus, and Kang the Conqueror. The three of them had come together to form an unholy alliance, and they joined forces to brutally massacre the rest of the Fantastic Four. Johnny somehow managed to jump through the portal and close the door behind him, but he warned the others about how Doom was right on his tail, and that they needed to prepare for the day he showed up in the present-day New York City. While Ant-Man set off to find Darla and convince her to come back, the rest contact Wyatt Wingfoot and asked him to come to the Baxter Building. Since Wingfoot and Johnny were good friends, they hoped he would be able to confirm whether this old man was truly Johnny. As Wingfoot and Johnny caught up, 
The former reassured the others that Johnny was not lying and that he was the same old friend he'd known back in the day. After verifying Johnny's story, the new Fantastic Four directed their attention toward finding a way to defeat Doom, while Ant-Man and Darla embark on a side mission to defeat the Yancey Street Gang. In the 13th issue of this series, Doom had unleashed his armies on Earth, while the Future Foundation did their best to defeat him. In this version of the story, Doom had showed up with his forces through the Time Portal, and a different version of the Fantastic Four appeared soon after to aid the Future Foundation. While Ant-Man, She-Hulk, and the others fought against Doom, Annihilus, and Kang, this version of the Fantastic Four soon regrouped with them in an old S.H.I.E.L.D. facility. This team consisted of a bald version of Mr. Fantastic, a black, rocky version of The Thing, and an African-American invisible woman. To add to this, the Human Torch was Mr. Fantastic's brother, and they all worked in unison to distract Doom's forces and strip them of their powers. However, Doom merges himself with Kang and Annihilus and even shoots this version of Johnny in the face. These instances might not involve Old Man Johnny, but they serve as concrete proof of the fact that he'd arrived to warn them about Doom's attack all along. While all of this happened in present-day New York, the previous comic issue established the fact that Old Johnny Storm had left Earth-616 to travel across the multiverse in search of his home reality. During his travels, he stumbled upon the original Fantastic Four from Earth-616 and got acquainted with them while they learned all about his older self. As he wakes up from a nightmare about facing Doom's forces, Old Man Johnny reminds himself that he's now traveling alongside a different Fantastic Four and gathers his thoughts. At the same time, he hears a scream in a different corner of the time-space ship and hurries there to find out that the Thing's body is undergoing a transformation. He ends up shedding skin and liquefying, and the others try to use their powers to help him, but to no avail. In fact, they all soon start losing control over their abilities, and old Johnny Storm steps in and tells them that he knows the reason behind their power failures. He elaborates on how the other Fantastic Four team's powers had been transferred to them, and the only way they can fix it is by going to his reality. He further warns them that this reality is under Doom's control, and that their road ahead is quite dangerous with a huge possibility that their failure will doom the world as we know it. As this comic issue ends, the next one picks up right where we left off, with the replacement team and the alternate Fantastic Four team trying their best to defeat Doom. On the other hand, old John Storm and the original team hover over the Earth's surface and try to get past the planet's defenses when they come into contact with an electromagnetic barrage. Their arrival causes a divergence from Earth-13266 into Earth-TRN-379, and their ship ends up exploding as they escape in pods. While Doom witnesses the scene, he uses a device to send old John Storm away, and he vanishes into thin air. Eventually, he finds himself back on Earth-616 with Franklin and Valeria Richards, but he seems determined to face Doom and finally confront him after dodging him for so long. Old John Storm simply reappeared in the past of Earth-TRN-379 in the next comic issue titled Operation Latveria, where a major battle against Doom, the Annihilating Conqueror, was already in force. Ant-Man had already prepared the Fantastic Four and the Future Foundation to trap Doom within his castle, and Old John Storm played a crucial role in their attempts to rescue Alex Powers' parents from captivity. At the same time, Dakor used his magical powers to block Doom's magic and prevent him from merging with Annihilus so that Ant-Man could face him in a one-on-one -on -one battle. As things move smoothly, they inch closer and closer to defeating Doom, when he learns all about their plan and deploys his minions to activate their defenses. However, the Fantastic Four manage to hack into all their systems, and Ahura and Alex also succeed in freeing Alex's parents. After jumping from one timeline to another to dodge Doom for the longest time, John Storm was determined to face him, and he decided to go up against this villain alone. He stepped up to distract Doom from the rest of the team, while they came up with a master plan to defeat him and used all his energy to conjure up a powerful attack. Unfortunately, Doom got to him before he could do anything, and he killed Old John in a striking display of his abilities. In a way, Old John essentially sacrificed his one life to give the rest of the Fantastic Four enough time to bring him down, and they even threw a party in his honor after they returned to Earth-616 marvelous verdict. And with that, we come to the end of this story arc that transcends beyond timelines and realities and merges so many alternate versions of this team together. There's no doubt that old man Johnny had witnessed some grim things, and it was quite a testament to his enduring spirit that he refused to give up, even after everything he'd been through. We hope you enjoyed exploring this comic arc with us, and do share your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!